This is what you call a flip. Ten keys from a car to brick. Bentley from his mama whip. KOD, he hard as shit. This is what you call a flip. Ten keys from a car to brick. Bentley from his mama whip. KOD, he hard as shit. This is what you call a flip. Ten keys from a car to brick. Bentley from his mama whip. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Sean. Be nice. Back again with some more heat rocking. Today, we're doing a hands on look with the new YouTube music app. Let's see if it's a worthy successor to the Google Play Music app. Let's go. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, just kind of give you guys a heads up. This is the official version. The way you can check that is by making sure you have a hot list here. Um, and also, I know you guys see this kind of like this notification bar here. If you guys are interested, I will be doing a video on that. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll be dropping it this week to show you how to get this using XDA app. This one here is better than all the other apps due to the fact that it um, actually hides the notification bar. It doesn't keep coming up like the other ones, but you need to use ADB for that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get straight to this video. So this is YouTube Music Early Access. Now, surprisingly, I was able to only get this. This is not on my main account. The reason why I'm obsessed is because I had to actually use a secondary account just to even get this to work. So this is my secondary account, right? But this is access to YouTube Music, as you guys can see here. I don't have red on this one. Again, this is my secondary account, but as you guys to see everything looks legit you know so there we go now let's go ahead and kind of run through the features or whatever real quick so here you have they have you like your own mixtape they can make for you some of the artists that i'm into yeah workout session or essentials uh mellow moods and you also have live performances and new releases now I want to kind of show you the things I'm not really feeling too much already. Now, one thing I don't like is the fact that like on Google Play Music, you can actually click on new releases. You can't click on new releases here. Uh, you can only scroll through. I just kind of like see, I don't really like Maz in a scrollable view like this. I kind of like seeing Maz more of a uh, thumbnail type of ordeal. So I really, I'm really not a fan of the fact that you really can't click on new releases anymore. So that's my first dislike. The second dislike I have is the fact that, let's go to a song real quick. We're going to Pusha T's new album. So here, um, now I do I do like the album artwork now. Uh, this looks a lot more cleaner to me. I like the fact that you can toggle, toggle between audio and video. Again, I don't have the red version of this, so it's not really showing much. Uh, but if I click on it, this is the message you'll get. Uh, just want to listen, try YouTube Red to listen to audio mode, plus listen without ads even when you're offline. Now, again, if I was able to get this on my main account, that wouldn't be a problem for me. But I do like the interface, but I don't like the fact that like, if you're listening to a song, right, they have this thing called like, uh, endless playlist here. Auto play I don't really care for that, so I always turn it off because sometimes the songs they mention to me, I don't want to hear. I already have my select songs I want to listen to. So that's kind of like my first dislike. Another thing is I don't like the fact that they changed the dislike and the like button from from left to right to right to left now. Uh, I just feel like you're more inclined since they kind of trained you with Google Play Music or with any other videos, even on YouTube. The like button is always on the left and the thumbs down and the thumbs down button is always on the right. So I don't know why they changed that up. Didn't really make much sense to me. But again, here's the kind of what I want to show you, right? So if you have YouTube music and you, you had a hot list and stuff like that, it's actually playing, you know, the video before, you know, and this is, but this is the advertisement right here. This is an ad. Uh, I, don't, I don't miss ads. y'all. I haven't seen ads in so long, but here's kind of what I want to show you. Now, if you actually, cause I can switch accounts. Now, even though, even though this is on my secondary account, I can switch accounts and go back to my regular email. And here, this is just the regular YouTube music. As you guys can see the trending, as you guys can see now it's just trending and no longer hot list now. But as you guys can see the interface primary, it, it pretty much looks the same. Here you have library, you know, as they call hot list on YouTube music, early access. It's just called trending here and home. You still have new releases. And you can actually click on new releases. Even though, even though I don't have everything, you can actually still click on new releases to see what they have. But let's go ahead and go back to YouTube Music Access. And it's very easy to switch accounts. It's just that I wish if I was able, I, I just hate the fact that I can't use this on my other account because that's what my primary, that's what most of my music is. Now, just to kind of let you guys know, here's here's how the albums look. Here's the albums. I haven't, I haven't added any albums. So let's go ahead and add an album right now. And up here, as you guys can see, when you type in, they use like a like they use Google Assistant to kind of learn what you're looking for to kind of help you with your search. So if we look up push a T disc by Drake, it should pull up his new his new disc song. Well, that's one of them, but uh, <laughs> I think it's called like, what is it called, Doopy? So it, it, it's here, not, I mean, it wasn't like the top, the top thing, but it's definitely here, right? So that, that's, that's pretty cool, or 
new push of T out. When you type that type of stuff in, it's not, it's still like in beta, but it should, like, it should bring up his newest album. You know what I mean? But here's like a playlist for him, and then he got a couple of videos, and then he got the albums at the underneath. Now you can click albums here. It's just that when you go to, let me go ahead and add this album to my library. All right, so that album's already, now I don't know what the issue is, but here, let's go back to how. This may be a bug that we're running into. Now, I'm trying to add the album. Okay, so you gotta hit the plus. If you wanna add music to your actual library now, you actually have to hit this little icon here. Um, and this is how you download it to, li to listen to it offline. But here's the albums, right? So now here we, here we have albums. You go in here and then, you, you know, you can put up the album list view with no problem, things like that. But again, it's just missing a lot. Now, let me kind of get into detail what this thing here is missing. Now, just like on Google Play Music, I'm a, I'm a stickler for audio sound as far as like the quality of it. And you can't change that in the settings right now as far as on YouTube music. So over here, if you go here, you could change the download quality, which is how you can change the download quality too in there. But there's all, um, but there's another option where it say always on high as far as like the, your music sound quality. And then you also have an equalizer here. Now if we go back to YouTube music, which I meant to do in the first place. You go to setting, we're very limited in what we have. You only have advanced, uh, shake the feedback, notifications, but you don't have anything as far as, but you don't have anything as far as like controlling the quality of your music. And now I can tell you one thing now for sure. There's definitely a difference in quality between the sound audio of the Google Play music and YouTube music. And plus the library just isn't the same. So as you guys can see, here are my playlists. Now, Again, you know, since it's not the same account, all, all my music obviously isn't switched over. But even if I had, even if I had this on my main account, YouTube Music has not enabled the the feature to transfer your library over anything like that. But you still can. But they are pushing out an update in the future where you be able to upload your own songs still and transfer your Google Play Music library over. Now. Here's how you get in this. Now, I know people, now, if you guys haven't caught on by now, the way you want to get into this is if you're trying to use your main account, you it's probably going to be a longer time before you're actually able to sign up. So what you want to do is you want to create a secondary account so that way you have a higher chance of getting in. So as you guys can see, like I said, this is my secondary account. I got in no problem. And I, I, I signed in like one day and then the next day I was... I was already in the beta. Now my main account, I signed up for that the, the day that it dropped, which I think was May 22nd, and I'm still not in the beta. So. You know, take that for what it's worth. Now, in closing, just in just a few closing remarks, you're not missing anything with the new YouTube music. Uh, if you already have the YouTube music on your phone, period, and you're not in beta, it's pretty much the exact same thing. The only thing that changes is you don't have stations. You don't have stations, which is blurred out anyway. You can't even select anyway, but you still have albums and everything like that. Now, one thing I don't like is the fact that, let's, if you, I'm gonna go to my computer real quick so you guys can see the desktop player. Now, look at the desktop player. Very pretty, the setup is pretty much the exact same way that you would see on your phone. Here you have your hot list, and here you have your library. Uh, which the album that I added obviously is still in there and then this is how it's gonna look with the with the full player If you want to see how it's gonna look It actually looks like an actual music player now versus Google Play music with their weird looking artwork when you're trying to play music on their browser But it actually looks good. So in closing All right So so let's kind of take a look at some of the main takeaways that we get from YouTube music so far You can't upload your own songs in there yet there will be a feature that they're coming out with just to kind of you know hook it up just like how they have google play music um if you already have youtube music but not their early access youtube music as you guys can pretty much see it's pretty much identical the only thing that really changes is between the hot list button and the interface has changed a little bit but you can still access access those pretty much those same albums that youtube music has another thing that i kind of don't like is the fact that when you create a playlist and youtube music it actually creates one of your regular YouTube account. I don't like that. I don't want to see those playlists intertwined like that. I like Google Play Music where my playlist is completely separate from my YouTube playlist. I, there's a reason why I have a YouTube playlist and there's a reason I have a Google Play Music playlist. I got a YouTube playlist maybe for like a lot of concert uh, or a lot of freestyles. I listen, to, I listen to a lot of Hot 97 freestyles on YouTube and on my YouTube, like I'm already the Google Play Music. I got like, you know, actual artists and, you know, Davey, stuff like that. So I really, don't, I really don't care for that. And even with the playlist, the playlist is just so hard to curate on YouTube Music versus Google Play Music, I don't know why it's that difficult.
Now, the, the things I do like about the YouTube, the, the new YouTube music streaming service is the fact that you can start adding most of those songs to your regular playlist. So like now with Google Play Music, I can't find 97, but I can on YouTube Music. I can actually add that into a playlist and keep it in my rotation. Um, I think with time, YouTube Music will be there. It's just right now, it's still in its infancy. Like even the way you create playlists, I don't really care for. I don't really care for the fact that I can't change the audio quality. Google Play Music audio quality is definitely way better right now. And it's just, it doesn't, YouTube music is not making me want to leave Google Play Music. If anything, it's making me want to stick with it at least until it gets everything correct. With all that being said, man, I hope I got, I hope I answered you guys' questions. If I missed something out, maybe, you know, comment down below and I can answer it for you. This is just a, a pretty much quick hands-on video. But just to kind of give you guys a, uh, if you guys, again, missed this, if you want to hop into the YouTube music early access earlier with your main account, you probably won't have as much luck. Uh, but if you create a secondary account, you probably can get you an access code. I mean, you probably can get access maybe within, I say a business day or so. It didn't take me long when I created my secondary account. My primary account, I signed up for the first day and I still don't have access to that account. And I think the reason for that is because YouTube music, their, YouTube itself is recognizing that, hey, these people already have Google Play Music, so when we make them transition to YouTube music, it won't be as hard. Let's kind of go for those people who don't have Google Play Music at all. We kind of want to start soaking them in to kind of show them what YouTube music can offer. If you already have Google Play Music, you already kind of know what they're going to offer. So it's not, it's not really anything new to you. The only thing that's new to you is the UI, in which I know just like you guys, I'm tired of Google Play Music artwork. I just don't like the way they handled it. It just, it looks stupid. I, re I really prefer if they would have just kind of changed the interface on Google Play Music or just changed, or just change the name. Keep Google Play Music like set up and everything like that. Uh, change the UI, maybe, maybe make a couple of UI tweets, give us a dark mode, like how, you know, how dark it is on YouTube Music. And I think Google Play Music could still, could have still been it. But I do like the fact that you can switch between audio and YouTube music videos with no problem. It's so seamless. I love that. So, hope I answered all you guys' questions, man. If I missed anything, comment down below. Um, I've been doing like a lot of hands-on with this, so I probably can answer quick, fast, and hurry. Uh, also, check out subreddits. Um, you know, those are very helpful, too. That's kind of why I was able to learn how to kind of get into these, to get into YouTube music earlier, because I saw a lot of subreddits of people saying they were making on the secondary accounts and they were getting that faster. So, uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share this video, like this video, all that good stuff. Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. It's your boy Sean. Be nice, man. I'm out. Deuces.